the main item of heart failure is the shortness of breath. Combined with that, sometimes you experience nausea, you experience periods when you can get dizzy, um, blood pressure dropping, or, or the heart going into an arrhythmia. Charlie had uh, symptoms that are pretty typical for a patient with systolic heart failure. So his exercise capacity, his ability to do activities sort of dropped. Charlie had an LVAD for two years and he felt well during that period of time. But an LVAD um, is a therapy that requires a lot of care. And most patients, uh, if they have the capacity to get a transplant, would much prefer a transplant to an LVAD. There is a spiritual and a psychological and a physical to it all, where the uncertainty about when anything will happen keeps creeping into your mind. Since we've developed the program to accept hepatitis C positive organs, we have been able to actually accelerate uh, the transplant rate of uh, many of the patients who've been on our waiting list. And for the hearts alone, we have one of the highest transplant rates in the region. I think most likely if hepatitis C organ transplantation was not possible at the moment, Charlie would still be waiting for a heart. And that waiting period could have been as long as uh, two years or so. During that waiting time, any kind of a complication could have happened, which would have made transplantation no longer an option. Tell us how you're feeling today, Mr. Gaines. Well, um, a bit of excitement, some apprehension, and a lot of hope. I know that each transplant for them is special, but for me, mine was special because I've never done it before. <laughs> so um, I would definitely like to thank them. I think they've been beyond one's imagination. So Mr. Haynes received an organ from a hepatitis C positive donor, but we don't expect this course to be any more complicated than any other patient that had a transplant. Uh, patients take many medications post-transplant, between 15 and 20 in their first year. So really this is, it turns out to be about one more pill uh, for two months in our program. And so far, uh, every patient that has received a heart from a hepatitis C positive donor has cleared the virus. The difference now is that you don't feel as tired or you don't have to be pushing yourself. I think I could be virtually at what I would have been at the very peak of the pre and period. For uh, Charlie and other patients in our program, you get back to your family faster, you get back to your life faster, you stay alive.